final game of three with the St. Louis Cardinals. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the ballpark with Rex Hudler. I'm Ryan Lefevre. Tonight is the deciding game of the series. The Royals have not won a deciding game of a series yet this year. And Danny Duffy will go to the mound. It'll be his last start of 2020. Next year is the last year of his long-term contract. What have you observed about Danny Duffy this year? Well, what I've liked about Duffy is he's established his fastball. It's back. And it's not like it's overpowering like he once was at 95, 96. He's been really good in the low 90s, but his location, upper the upper part of the zone, the bottom part of the zone, you know, all quadrants of the strike zone with that fastball. He has been bringing in his other pitches, but I'll tell you what, Duffy looks like he's been in control outside of a few innings that were big innings. He looks really good. And pitching against the Cardinals, he's done well against the Cardinals in his career, and the Cardinals are obviously playing for something. They are three and a half games back in the Central, so right now they have a playoff spot. They've got the Reds on their heels as well as the Brewers, and they'll play five games in four days against Milwaukee at home beginning on Thursday. They're not hitting much, HUD, but they pitch, and they have played excellent defense all season long. Well, us here in Kansas City know what that defense can do for a championship. That's right. You know, it's fantastic to see these guys play, man. You know, it's exciting to watch it. It's coming from all angles. I mean, Bader at third base, excuse me, in center field, Carpenter at third over there, you know, Molina behind the play they're all got skills especially Goldschmidt at first with all those gold gloves the Royals took game one 4-1 the Cardinals bounce back and shut out the Royals 5-0 the Royals held the Cardinals to one run six hits on Monday night last night they had five runs they took advantage of several walks and turned those into runs Ron Hell Ravello is the designated hitter, so he's new to the lineup tonight. Matt Carpenter will not be in there with Danny Duffy on the mound. And for Danny, this is his fifth uh, career start against the Cardinals, and he has an excellent strikeout to walk ratio against the Cardinals in his career. That's right. Duffy looking for a nice, smooth, compact outing, if that uh, makes sense. Pitching arsenal by Duffy, you see four seam slider change sinker occur, but mainly four seam fastballs up and around the strike zone. That breaking ball, I think the change up and all that, but uh, StatCast powered by Google Cloud is going to show you that uh, that, that curveball is 14% usage. That to me, he needs to bring that in more. Leave the slider alone. Forward around the horn, Royals defense. How about the center fielder, Cordero? He's out there. This is his first start in center now. Another young man is, that they're auditioning to see if he can handle that spot for another year, maybe. We'll see. And Salvador Perez, you know, he snapped his nine-game hitting streak, but he also nailed Col Colton Wong stealing a bag. That's his second of the year, and that's what he really likes. And here is Colton Wong who was on base three times last night, makes his way to the plate. The Royals were shut out last night. Changes tonight with the right-hander on the mound. Alex Gordon is back in left. And Franchi Cordero, who is called up from the alternate site, will bat eighth. He will be in center field. Facing Carlos Martinez, who was out for a long time on the injured list, so he's only made four starts, and his ERA is about eight and a half. Oh, man. Yeah, he's having a hard time staying out of the middle of the plate, obviously, early. But they are counting on this young man. There's his pitch arsenal. 